We own your love now Cause for all we know We might be dead by tomorrow Hey, what's going on YouTube? Alright, can you believe this crap? 2013 already. Holy crap, 2012 just flew freaking by. It seems like just yesterday I was making the Happy New Year 2012 Year of the Dragon video. So that's just freaking crazy. But here we are, 2013, and we all know what 2012 was like and what it looks like 2013 is going to be. 2013 in the Chinese Zodiac is the year of the Black Water Snake. And what the hell does that mean? Okay, let's jump into it a little bit and find out. Black is the color of space, arctic night, darkness of the abyss, and the color of deep waters. The black snake will bring people unexpected changes, instability, and changeability. Uh, that is why it's important this year, to uh, year of the snake, to plan everything beforehand. Evaluate adequately before taking any actions. You, you need to be more careful and cautious than ever. So the snake symbolizes uh, character traits of intelligence, gracefulness, and materialism. The sign of the snake in Chinese culture is not perceived as the demon who seduced Eve into sin. It is rather a creature with sexy, wise, materialistic personalities. Uh, they're also subtle, secretive, elusive, and mysterious. are very strong sixth sense and heavy, heavily rely on their own feelings and their first impressions. Uh, which is interesting because another part that I read it said that the, the snake, year of the snake, there's a, a sneaky energy lingering around. Snakes are extremely analytical, don't jump into situations, they're effective at getting things they want even if it means they have to plot along the way. Now here's another thing that came up quite a lot. Ancient Chinese wisdom says that a snake in the house is a good omen because it means your family will not starve. This can be taken metaphorically to mean that a snake could never have a problem with his family starving because he is such a great mediator making him good at business. Or it could mean that the snake would be willing to sacrifice his possessions, something that the snake has a lot of in order to pay for his family's food. Um, anyway, it's interpreted, it's representative that the snake's character and is a measure of the value he puts on material wealth. The snake is seen as keen and cunning, quite intelligent and wise. So this is interesting because of um, what we're moving into 2013, that everything is going on. If you uh, think about that, uh, you know, the snake saying you won't starve, at least for everybody who's basically on my channel and aware of what's going on, that's kind of interesting because, you know, it's directly related to preppers. Everybody's putting stuff back and preparing for what's going on. The other thing is, like I mentioned at the beginning, it's the year of the black water snake and all the elements have stuff to do in the Chinese zodiac. Water, water is characterized with mobility, uh, dynamism, that's where I say it, and changeability. So it's just, it's just interesting. Put it together how you want. I'm going to pop some links in the uh, description box, uh, just some other pages that talk about this more that I thought were kind of interesting if you want to look through it and everything. Um, so yeah, that's, that's it. Year of the Black Snake. Uh, oh yeah, one other point that I wanted to mention. This is pretty interesting. The snake is also often called Little Dragon in the Chinese Zodiac. And what I find really interesting about that is I just found a band, if you all are paying attention to the, the music videos that I like and favorite, I just recently found this band called Little Dragon. It's like my favorite band right now. This girl has an amazing voice and it's just uh, some really cool tunes. So I literally just found them like a couple weeks ago. So interesting uh, coinky dink. Whisper to me. going to get into predictions in this video I think I'll do that maybe in a week or so talk about some stuff coming up and as far as what 2012 was for me 
Um, it was a crazy year. It was a really intense year for me. Uh, I think I actually grew more personally, developed more in 2012 than any other year. For those who've been following along, um, you know, I had the most important relationship I ever had in my life and lost that relationship too, so. Smile, though your heart is aching. Crazy year. Let's see what 2013 is going to be. Personally, I like the number 13. I'm kind of psyched, but maybe I'm freaking crazy. Later, YouTube.